Welcome back to Book Break. In this video I am recommending books for introverts and there are so many different types of introverts. So I have actually been looking at the Myers-Briggs personality types. There are 16 personality types, eight of them are the introverted personality types. So if you don't know what your specific personality type is, Google Myers-Briggs and you will find some really good tests that you can take. I find these personality types really useful and a fun way to get to know yourself a little bit better. So in this video I am going to recommend a book for each of the eight introverted Myers-Briggs personality types and stay tuned extroverts because coming up very soon I've got a video for you as well. So let's get into it. So starting with ISTJ, also known as the inspector, you are the most common sense of the personality types. You like logic and order, you can't rest when things are in disarray, you're not very easily distracted and you like to follow rules and procedures that are already established. So in general, you like an orderly life. So you probably wouldn't enjoy a book about someone following their heart over their head, you might find that a little stressful. History does tend to be very popular with ISTJs, but I think historical non-fiction would be more up your alley than historical fiction, which can play a little fast and loose with the truth. So I'm going to recommend to you Black and British by David Olasoga. This is a really comprehensive history of Britain and the role of Black Britons from the beginning, from Roman Britain up to present day. It's an absolutely fascinating history, most of it you probably never learnt at school and it's all completely true. So ISTJs, this is my recommendation for you. ISTPs, also known as the crafter, you are very artistic, you are very hands-on, you're very curious about the world. So non-fiction does tend to be a great choice for ISTPs, but instead of learning about the past, you're probably more interested in learning useful skills for the present. So the book I'm going to recommend for you is Clean and Green by Nancy Birtwistle. This book is full of tips to help you make your home and your cleaning process more eco-friendly and it's got recipes in there for you to make your own cleaning products. It's a really fun hands-on approach to making the world a little bit better. ISFJs, you are the protectors. You are very loyal, you are selfless. You are introverted, but you do have great social skills. And when it comes to reading, you tend to enjoy epic stories of people making the world better. So historical fiction is a great genre for ISFJs. And I'm gonna recommend to you The Pull of the Stars by Emma Donoghue. This is a book set during the last great pandemic, 100 years ago. It takes place over the span of a few days on a maternity ward in an Irish hospital. And it's about a nurse, a doctor, and a volunteer, and the incredible but heartbreaking work they have to do over a few days during the great flu. ISFPs, you are the artists. And as that title suggests, you are very artistic, you are sensitive, you are drawn to beautiful things, but also to strong and independent characters. So a fiction book that I think you will love is The Lost Flowers of Alice Hart by Holly Ringland. In this book, we follow the life of Alice Hart. We watch her growing up, going through unspeakably tragic events in her life, but learning to survive and to cope by using the language of flowers. It's based on the Victorian language of flowers, but this is set in Australia and so you get to learn about these beautiful unique Australian flowers that she uses to express the things that she finds too hard to say. INFJs, you are the advocates. So you are idealistic, you're imaginative, you really stand up for what you believe in. And so fantasy is a great genre for you because there you will find epic battles between good and evil and really strong characters to root for. So I'm going to recommend you The Unspoken Name by A.K. Larkwood, which is about a girl who grows up in a death cult destined to sacrifice herself on her 14th birthday. But as her birthday approaches, she meets a sorcerer who offers her another option. Together, they could topple an empire. INFPs, you are the mediators. So many authors and poets are INFPs. You're a very creative and sensitive personality type. So I'm going to recommend you some poetry. This is Cannibal by Sophia Sinclair. It is her debut poetry collection. It's a sort of retelling of Shakespeare's The Tempest, all about the female body as this dark landscape. And so I think you INFPs are going to love this. 
INTJs are the architects. You are curious, independent, and you love solving puzzles. So mysteries is an obvious genre for you. You do have a tendency towards secrecy and a fascination with the unknown. So I'm going slightly supernatural with my mystery recommendation for you as well. This is The Library of the Dead by T.L. Hoochoo. This is about a girl in Edinburgh working as a ghost talker. She hears messages from the dead and passes them on to the living. But through one of these messages, she uncovers a mystery that she has to investigate that will lead her to this secret occult library. I think this is right up your alley. INTPs, you are the thinkers. You are very logical and theoretical and you enjoy speculating about all the possibilities. So speculative sci-fi fantasy is a great genre for you, still set mostly in our world, but exploring the boundaries of what's possible. So I'm going to recommend you a short story collection. This is Stories of Your Life and Others by Ted Chiang. So in here you will find the short story that the movie Arrival is based off, plus so many other really imaginative stories that will leave you questioning our place in the universe. So those are eight very different books for all of the very different types of introverts. Do leave a comment if we got your recommendation spot on for you, or if you have any other recommendations you'd like to pass on, we would love to hear them. I will leave a link here to a video we made recommending books for each different star sign, so do click through and have a look at that, and we'll see you next time.